want to add a rain effect to that photo or project? <laughs> well, you're in luck, because I'm going to show you how. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is open up our picture or project that we're working with. I'm going to be using this fishing boat here. As you've noticed, I have two of it open up here. Uh, one is to use for comparison as we make progress. So, let's get started. To start off, uh, you'll notice the picture is a little bit bright, so we're going to want to change that so that the rain suits the mood a little bit more. So we're going to come over to colors, and we're going to come down to hue saturation. And we're just going to drop our saturation down a little bit. We don't want to go too much. And then the lightness. We're going to bring that lightness down. We want to make it nice and and dark in here. Not too dark though. See that there's pretty good. So we're going to hit OK. Then we're going to come back to colors. And we're going to come to color temperature. And then from here we're going to raise the original temperature. And then we're just going to lower the intended temperature just a little bit. And now it's got that kind of overcast look to it. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And you'll see, here's the original. It's kind of sunny and bright. Nice sunset coming in. Now it's kind of overcast and dark. Alright, so what we're going to do from here is we're going to add a new layer. We're going to hit X on the color tag. Select OK. Make sure your new layer is chosen. Come over to Filters, Render, Noise, Simplex, Noise. Select that, and we're going to scale up to about 4500. Right, we're going to hit OK. And then we're going to go back to Filters, and come to Blur, come all the way down to Linear Motion Blur. I'm going to turn that up to about 75. Seventy-five-ish. And then we're going to change our angle. This is going to be the rain effect here, so we want it to be coming in at the proper angle. So I'm going to make it at about 110 degrees here, the angle. Alright, we're going to select OK. Then from here we'll notice up here in the edge and down here you can kind of see it's not it's not filling the picture so what we're going to do is we're going to adjust it with the unified uh, transform tool. So I'm grab it and make it a little bit bigger so that it covers the whole canvas. Then we're going to come over to Mode, and we're going to scroll on down until we find Grain Extract, and we're going to select that. And as you'll notice, it's given us that rain effect, but it's pretty harsh looking. So what we're going to do is we're just going to lower the opacity there. So we drop it down a bit, probably say about 50, 55. And there you have it. A nice rain effect. I hope this video was helpful. If you learned something, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope this helped to inspire your creativity. I will see you next time.